Hello. Oh. You're just like. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Bold School of Commerce. I am Mike Traclo. I'm joined here with the man, the myth, the legend, the OG of SOC, Kevin Wild himself. Kevin, thanks for coming on. I, uh, I appreciate you joining us for this episode. For those of you who are just tuning in, uh, this is Bold School of Commerce. This is a live e-commerce lesson where we talk to you guys about our best e-commerce tips and tricks that help you beef up your store, get your stores ready to sell more, and, and ultimately just empower you guys to do a little bit more uh, and ultimately have a, a really great online store. Today's episode is lesson number 21. It's hard to believe we've done 21 lessons already. And today we're gonna be talking about how to pick the perfect theme for your store. So before we dive right into it, Kevin, I just read something online. I just wanted to, to get this out there into the world. 94% of internet users cited web design as a reason they don't trust certain websites. If your website looks shady, chances are it's going to have a negative impact on your business. So that's kind of what catalyst was the, the catalyst for this conversation is that you want your store to be good, you want it to look good, but you also want it to be functional. So for anybody that's just joining us or that's new to Shopify, there's, there's a couple things that you want to do uh, before you even start looking for what theme that is. And that's kind of do your research. You know, if you, if you know what you're selling and you know some of your competition or some of your competitors are out there, uh, there's so many websites that you can look at. Find that niche, find that, uh, that different website or that different look that you're looking for so that ultimately uh, you have a, a visual representation of your actual business. Uh, Kevin, you've seen, uh, you, you deal with a lot of partners and a lot of websites. Does that hold true that if you have a, a poor looking website, you're probably gonna have poor conversions or is that, is that just maybe a, a myth or something that somebody threw out there? Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's totally true. Um, obviously, your conversions could be lower, um, but a lot of data could be lower. Um, if, we, you know, if we compare the online world to the in-person world, if you were to walk up to a store and the store looks dingy, kind of like half put together, you don't really feel you know, safe uh, shopping in that store, you're probably not even going to walk in. You're going to continue walking past. Yeah. So if you have an e-commerce you know, e store and it doesn't look professional, it looks kind of hacky put together, uh, maybe not trustworthy, a lot of people are going to come to your store and probably leave right away. Um, they may not even get to the product page. So yeah, it's, it's incredibly important to have a uh, nice looking website, um, a website that works well for most devices and just you know gives trust in your customers that they're, they're in the right, right place. And it, it, it should look good, but it also should, should function good. Now, I guess that goes, it goes hand in hand. Or is one of those two better? Should you, should you have a, a really good looking website or, or maybe a, a lesser good looking website that functions a little bit more? I mean, there's what thousands and thousands of Shopify themes to choose from. So do you think it's more important to, to have a, a functioning website or a website that maybe looks good or looks better than your competitors? Well, I think you know, both are equally important. Um, I think a lot of people you know, um, misconstrue what design is. They, you know, they think when I have a good design means something that's sexy, something that looks good. But design really is the experience of what your customers are getting, right? It's like how they use the product, how they use the website. So it's really important to think about how those customers of yours are gonna interact with your website. Is it easy to find products? Is it easy to search through it? Those are all part of the design experience and ultimately part of you know, choosing the right shop, I think. I think you really hit the nail on the head there, Kevin, with, with functionality. You, you really want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to navigate through your website. It could look really, really great, but if you know, you've got hard to find product pages or, or your categories are, are all in, in a huff or something like that, it's, it's probably going to turn away some, some customers or some business. That being said, you really do want your store to embody your brand. So you want, when your customer goes to your store, as you mentioned, as soon as they walk through that store, they want to get that, that feeling of what you're all about. So, you know, whether you're in a, in a, in a different industry or whether you're selling foods or, or, or what have you, you want your store to be a, a representation of your brand. So, so do take some time, check out the, uh, the Shopify theme store. Um, I can even include a link in there so that way you have some examples, but uh, it's, it's really great, the Shopify theme store in general. One of my favorite uh, parts about that is if you have no idea what your store is gonna look like or what you want to, Shopify makes it really, really easy for you to, uh, for you to search by industry or maybe by, by theme. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in, a, in a specific industry, whether that's fashion or clothing or anything like that, 
you can actually click a drop down menu with with fashion and it'll take you and give you a, a visual representation of of other companies that are using uh, using similar themes based on that industry yeah. And on top of that, one of my uh, favorite features of the theme store, and something that I admittedly did not know for the longest time, um, is if you go in the theme store and you find a theme you like, any of the themes can be preloaded on your website before you buy them, and you can see what they're going to look like. You can even go into the settings, customize it, and you could do all that pre-setup process without even buying the theme, so you can see exactly what features you're getting, how it's going to look, if it matches your brand, without even spending a dime. And then when it's ready and you think it looks good, just purchase the theme and it'll go live in your store, right? You know, just like that. And you can you can switch between different themes as well. So if you don't necessarily like the look and feel of that specific theme, uh, you can just switch right over. So I've just shared the the Shopify theme uh, web page, and I just wanted you guys to take a look at it if you if you have a chance. I'm just scrolling over. There's collections, industries, and all themes. So if you scroll over the collections part, you see the themes that are trending this week. Great for large inventories, new themes, grid layout, beautiful, big imagery, fun and lively. So if you don't necessarily know what you want your store to look like, there's plenty of options for you to just at least take a look at. It's almost like, you know, if, you, if you're trying to come up with a, a marketing idea or something like that, maybe creating a mood board, uh, putting specific images, maybe putting your products. Uh, you, you know what, that being said, maybe you should create a mood board. Take some of your products, maybe take your brand, maybe take your logo, and just throw it on the wall and see kind of what comes from there. And if you really like what you see, you could probably match that to one of the Shopify themes. If not, uh, there's definitely ways that you can customize that as well. For sure. And, you know, when we talk about customization, um, there's a lot of themes in the theme store. You could scroll through for a little while and find a bunch of different options. Keep in mind that, you know, if you're looking for that perfect theme that's going to do 100% of what you want, look exactly the way you want it, you're probably not going to find it. Um, what's best is to look for a theme that accomplishes 80%, 70% of what you want. And if there's a few things that maybe look out of place or you don't like how they look or, or function, most of that can be customized quite quickly. And you can hire a developer for um, relatively small amounts of money to make small little tweaks and add features like, you know, an Instagram uh, flow or a um, you know a gallery on your product page. You can just easily customize these things. So look for a theme that accomplishes most of what you want, and then you know customize the the rest. And and it's so easy to do. Even in the back end, you 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 plug in your theme and you go customize. Now you have the ability to change the actual look and feel of the website. Maybe you want to move a banner up. Maybe you want to add some products here, as Kevin mentioned. Maybe you want to add those that that Instagram model on the bottom there, so you can see that. Um, but Kevin really, he really did hit the nail on the head. You have the ability to customize these free themes. So just if, in case the theme doesn't necessarily satisfy all of your requirements, you then have the opportunity to, to play with some fonts, you know, play with the colors, and, uh, and ultimately make it, make it your own. Yeah, for sure. Um, I want to say like six, maybe 12 months ago, Shopify um, released what they call uh, Shopify sections. So before this was a thing, um, if you wanted to maybe move your featured collection higher than your slider or like just rearrange your theme, it involved going into the theme and, and modifying the code. Um, but Shopify knew a lot of store owners were struggling with this and wanted an easier way to rearrange the elements on their page. So now if you go in to customize a theme, you'll see all the blocks of content and you can just drag one higher. No code necessary, just drag it higher. Um, same, you can go in the product page and drag a lot of elements around. So most Shopify themes support that now. You may find one or two that don't. Um, but when you're looking around, look for one that supports Shopify sections, and that will make it really easy for you to make you know, those minor rearrangements on your, on your theme. Very good stuff. For those of you just tuning in, this is School of Commerce. We're talking about how to pick a high-converting Shopify theme. Uh, we've talked a little bit about you know, where, where you're going to find that direction. You, know, you, you want that your customers, as if they're actually walking into your, into your store, to get that same feeling. You know, your traditional brick-and-mortar store, uh, you're going to do a lot to make your store have that feeling that really showcases your product, showcases your brand. And you want, as soon as you open that door for your customers to get that feeling that says, wow, you know, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Or even it, it, it primes you to have that feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, if you sell uh, certain products that, uh, that make you happy or, or, or anything like that, then you can have a theme that sort of aligns with that. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about the, the Shopify theme store in general, um, how you can find the, the collections, what's trending this week, um, themes that people are talking about. What I also wanted to mention, uh, as I've included the link in the Shopify store as well, 
If you hover over the industry button, you can see right there that there's just a, a laundry list of industries. So if you don't have any idea of what you want your, your store to look like or your theme to look like, check it out. We've got clothing and fashion, jewelry and accessories, food and drink, furniture. The list goes on and, and as your store, you know, your, your store is very specific to, to what you do sell. You also maybe want to, to make it look similar to, to other industries uh, in the industry that you are in. Uh, or you could make it completely different and sort of uh, and stick out a little bit. There's just so many things that you can do. And uh, the one thing that we didn't really talk about yet, Kevin, that I wanted to talk about that I'm not really even too familiar with myself. I recently opened up a, a Shopify store myself. I've used the free theme. Uh, I've played around with a couple themes. There's also paid themes. Mm -hmm. And paid themes can run you from anywhere from $20. I think the average, uh, what I was reading online, was uh, 130 to, to 180 And these paid themes, uh, they, they, they give you a little bit more. You know, they say you get what you pay for. So when it comes to these themes, you have more features and more options. And, uh, and, and I think if you have a, a Shopify theme, it also maybe might position your store a little bit differently. You know, we talked a little bit about the industries. If you're using the same theme as someone or, or many stores in your industry, it's gonna have that same look and feel, whereas a, a paid theme might make you stand out a little bit more. What, what's your take on, on paid themes, Kevin? Well, I mean, they're, they're super important, especially if your business is, is a profitable one. Um, you know, recently Shopify announced that they have uh, over, what, 500,000 stores using the platform. Um, so that's 500,000 stores that are choosing from a pool of a couple hundred themes. So of course, you're going to have stores that have the exact same theme as you. Um, with paid themes, or, or sorry, with free themes, this is going to be even more common um, because there's a lot of stores that are using free themes because they can't afford one. So um, I, you know, when I was looking at some of the data a while ago, I don't have the numbers, but there are thousands and thousands of stores using Shopify's free themes. So if you really want to stand out, Using a paid theme is going to be your best option because they're going to have way less users. Now, um, this is kind of where customization comes into play. And you can choose a theme and it looks great, but all the customization changes you're going to make to it are ultimately is what, you know, how it's going to look for your brand and going to help you kind of stand out. Um, and the thing to keep in mind with that is think of a, you know, a theme almost like a, a coloring book, right? You're getting kind of like a, a frame of how everything can be designed, a frame of how everything can be laid out. But it's up to you to choose the colors that are going to go in, that are sure. going to create yeah, that's your really picture. Good way to look at it. And I've seen a lot of beautiful themes look really, really bad because the store owners have been choosing bad colors that really clash or just an organization that just doesn't look good. Um, so make sure that even though you choose a paid theme or a free one and you think you've chosen the right one, that you make right selections when customizing it and you just don't go... I'm crazy selecting every option possible. Sure, and and especially when it does come to customization, you have the ability to to customize your theme, you know, as much as you can. Uh, if you're, you know, you're you're familiar with that. But if there's some functionality that you don't necessarily get on a theme, that's where bold can come in. You know, we've done countless customizations. <coughs> pardon me, that just really take that theme to the ne the next level and get your customers. Uh, uh, maybe one step further, you know, whether that's uh, with color swatches or how you showcase your products or, you know, how, how the products function on your page in general. If you can dream it, we can we can build that. So I think that's something that's really important, too. If there's some some functionality that you don't see on a, on a theme, that's that's a whole department that we do have here that can definitely help you out there. Yeah, you know, a good example of this is a, is a lot of um, a lot of paid Shopify themes have a built in support for multi currencies so that the little drop down box in the top right hand corner usually of themes where uh, customers of yours when they log in they can change from say US to Canadian currency and they see the prices change. Like I said most paid themes have support for that but most free themes don't and we make a free app called multi-currency that if you uh, install in your store it'll add that exact functionality onto any theme so if you do choose a free theme and you're missing that functionality we have an app for that. So yeah. there's many examples of that, um, but just kind of you know look for the right combination of apps, themes, and, and a little bit of customization to create you know the ultimate store for you. Yeah, and that's a really good point in, in thinking about incorporating apps on your theme. Multi currency that was a really great one, uh, and and it's so easy to use. You know, you just have a, a, a tick box up there where a customer can change their currency. Uh, if you think about it like this. Whether you're shopping on a website that might be, you know, we're, we're based in Winnipeg, Manitoba, so that's Canada. Uh, if you're not based out of Canada or you're, you know, you're based in Europe or, or, or wherever that may be, you're not going to want to see 
price is in Canadian currency. And that's definitely going to be a, a deterrent on your store. So multi-currency, it's a free app and, and it's just a really simple way for you just to add a little bit more functionality to your store and to your theme that allows for your customers to view your product in whatever currency they like. So that way it's just, it's taking that one potential roadblock out of the way and allows your customers just to shop in peace and and then really, really uh, take a better look at your products and what you have to offer. Oh, totally. And the one the nice thing that um, Shopify does compared to a lot of other e-commerce platforms is they have um, a lot of the basic things taken care of. Um, you know, I've, I've been in e-commerce for a while. I've worked on multiple platforms and uh, some other platforms when you're looking through themes, you would ensure that you know, themes were compatible with mobile devices. There were a lot, a lot of themes on their stores that didn't work on iPhones and iPads. Um, but the awesome thing about the Shopify theme stores, they're very, very, very picky about the types of themes and which themes get listed on their store. Um, and all of them are responsive. They all work on mobile devices. Good, good and they stuff. all have a lot of features um, that they should, that really no theme shouldn't have, right? Mm -hmm. So Shopify does take great care in ensuring that only quality themes appear in the theme store. And that's a really good point, especially with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up. A vast majority of purchases being made are going to be done by your mobile device. So uh, a bit of a pro tip here is when you're looking at your website and you've picked a theme, you've played around with it, and you're, you know, you're looking at it on your desktop, Take a look at it on your mobile device. Take a look at it on your, on your phone, your Android, or your iPhone, whatever that may be, because it's going to look a little bit different than it's going to look on your screen. So you want to make sure that you're putting yourself in the customer's shoes and that the user experience is, is just as easy on the mobile device as it is on the desktop. They're going to look a little bit different. Obviously, they're going to look the same in the sense that it's, it's your store and the theme you've yeah. chosen. But being able to scroll up and down and, and making sure you know the, the, the banners are working and, and all your products look really nice, um, it, it's going to look different on your phone than it will on your desktop. So make sure that when you are checking out themes to, to, to use both because your customers are using both and you want to make sure that they have a, a really good, pleasant experience, whether that's desktop or whether that's yeah. mobile. Uh, you know, I'm kind of maybe cutting against the, the trend a little bit, but like when, you, um, when you're working on your Shopify store, there's probably a good chance you're using a desktop computer. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you load up a theme and you look at the preview of the theme, by default it shows you the desktop layout. Uh, but this is kind of backwards because um, a lot of data shows that the majority of customers going on stores and buying products are using mobile. Yeah. I know in my store I have 70% of viewers and buyers are using mobile devices. And yet I was always designing uh, first looking at my desktop website yes. and making that the number one priority when most of the money is coming from mobile devices. So. Um, the one thing that I started doing is when I'm looking at themes, look at the mobile version first. Prioritize the mobile version That's of the website. That's a really good way to look at and it. And ensure that you find one that looks good on mobile, and then the desktop can come later. Um, because it's a lot harder to customize a mobile theme. Um, you want to find one that works great on mobile, and then worry about the desktop afterwards. Um, but again, if you have data that shows that maybe you have more desktop viewers, just take that into account. You know, That's, not every that's a really good point. I've, I'd never have thought about viewing it that way, working mobile first and then going backwards. That's, mm -hmm. that's a really good point. So for those of you just tuning in, Mike and Kevin here from Bold, we're talking about uh, high converting Shopify themes. What we've gone over as of uh, uh, right up to this, to this point was what you should do before you choose your theme. So just to recap, before you choose your theme, do a little bit of research. Maybe check out the Shopify theme store, check out the categories, check out the collections, check out the industries that you, you might fall into. And, and get a good idea of what it is you might want your store to look like. Uh, next, maybe think about it on your own. What mood do you want your customers to be in while they shop? What feeling do you want to, uh, to evoke from them as soon as they hit your store? I mean, that's going to go a long way, depending on what you sell. You know, if you sell uh, you know, uh, gothic uh, clothing or something like that, you might not want to use the, the pop bubbly theme. Uh, it, it, it's just, it, or you might, you know, you never know. It's up to you. <laughs> All I'm saying is do a little bit of research um, and, and really get a good feeling of what, the, of what your customers are going to feel as soon as they hit your store. Um, definitely check the Shopify theme store out. As we've mentioned, there's thousands and thousands of themes to choose from. Each theme has almost a, a sub-theme or a sub-category, uh, and, and all of them are really great. Um, just because there are paid themes and free themes, that doesn't take anything away from the free themes. Now, I, I don't know, but I'm assuming a, a majority of new Shopify users probably use the free theme, but they're great. And, and a lot of successful stores um, are just using those free themes. 
If you want to take your store to that next level, that's maybe where, where paid themes come in. They add for uh, a little bit more options, uh, a little bit of functionality. And if you're in a very popular industry and a lot of the Shopify stores are using that same theme, maybe having a paid theme might uh, set, you, uh, set you apart from a few of those, uh, a few of those other stores. But it's, it, it's all down to what you want your store to look like. We mentioned that uh, you know, having a, a, an ugly looking store, an ugly looking theme might actually deter customers. Uh, there's, there's never a, 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 what is it, a first chance, a second chance to make a good first impression. Like it, it really goes a long way and it really holds true to your store. You want that first time your customers go to your store, you want them feeling what it is you want them to feel, you want your, your website to also be looking really well, but also have that functionality. Uh, and you want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to navigate um, through your store. No, those are, those are all really good valid points. And like I said, there's no, no perfect theme, but uh, find the right one for you, customize it, enable the features you want. And uh, yeah, like, you know, on the free themes, I've used a free theme on my store for a while now, and uh, we've made sales, we've been successful. So don't definitely think um, that you can't be successful using a free theme. But just write a list of what you really want and, and see which themes, you know, check that box. Yeah, and there's also a lot of good resources out there that have the, the most popular themes. As we mentioned, you could go straight to the theme store and see uh, the, the most popular themes there. Uh, I, I myself, as is Kevin, we, we both have our Shopify stores. Um, a few of the ones that I thought that were really great, uh, there was Venture, Brooklyn, uh, Pop. Minimal. There's there's so many, but those are those are the ones that really stood out. So if you are looking for an examples uh, or a few examples, maybe uh, maybe you could try those. Uh, and and if you do have any questions about themes in general that you might not be asking right now, keep in mind that um, now or even after we're done this live stream, you have the ability to write those comments and those questions in the comment section, and we'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. So I think we've hit a lot of the, uh, the nodes that we wanted to hit uh, for the live stream today. I just wanted to talk about a, a, a few pro tips that we can say that we can send you off away with. So one of which, if you're looking for a, a Shopify theme, it's good to check out you know, the most populars, but also check out the reviews. There's a lot of themes out there, and, and, and Kevin, you mentioned that, that there's a, a, few, uh, a few themes on the store specifically, or all the themes that are you know, gone through with a fine, fine tooth comb to make sure uh, it, it's functional and, and Shopify approves it. But definitely take out, check, out, check out some reviews. Just as you would be shopping for a, a product, whether that's a camera or a computer or anything like that, or a theme, Check out the reviews. See what people are saying, and you'll get a really good, uh, a really good idea of, of the, the, the caliber of, of the website, if you will. Um, uh, tip number two, functionality over form. You can have the best looking website in the whole world. Everyone must raving, ranting about it. But if your customers can't find what they're looking for, if it's tough to navigate, uh, if it's difficult for them to, uh, to use the, the, the interface, it's probably not going to, uh, to convert as well. There was one thing that I, I also wanted to mention before we were doing this. I was just checking out talk, uh, some of the Shopify theme forums. Somebody asked a really cool question. Uh, they said, I'm looking to change my theme. What theme should I choose that's going to increase my conversions? And I just wanted to address that. Um, I don't think your theme is going to if you change your theme, it's going to increase or, or decrease your conversions. I think that has to do with how you market your store. So don't put all your eggs in the basket and, and maybe you, know, you, you pay for an expensive theme and you're wondering why you're not getting any conversions. Just because your store looks great, that's when apps are going to come into play. You, know, you want that multi-currency app. You want people to know if you're having sales, uh, you want to you know, have maybe a, a motivator bar message. You want people to, to know what's going on on your store. So having a good theme is one thing. Uh, changing your theme might not necessarily affect your conversions, um, but there's a few things that you can do, whether that's social media, bold apps, other Shopify apps, email marketing, other ways that you're gonna get more traffic to your store that just go hand in hand uh, with your Shopify theme. Yeah, you know, asking the question how to increase my conversion rate is like, you know, asking how do I get rich, right? There's yeah. many, many ways to accomplish it. Um, some legal, some illegal, yeah. but um, you know, there's no really perfect answer. So, um, you know, keep a lot of things in mind, but like one that consistently comes up is like site speed. Um, you know, you want to choose a theme that's going to make your website load fast. Websites that take a long time to load generally have worse conversion rates, something you might not even think about. There are all these different aspects which then 
you know, come together to form your conversion rate. Um, so definitely don't ask the question just in general. Look at the data. Try to use the data to inf influence that decision. But definitely themes can have a, you know, an impact on that. And that's a really good point, Kevin. You know, you, you want to have a good looking store. You want to have those conversions. If you're not seeing the best conversions or, or you'd like to see better conversions, we've got our whole managed service and professional service department uh, and, and they'll take a look at your store, you know, whether that's using heat maps to find out where people are going, making those adjustments. So if you really do want to take your store to the, ne the next level and increase those conversions, feel free to reach out to our professional services or our managed services department. They're always happy to, uh, to have conversations and, and they're, really, they're really experts in their field. So you know, even just by having a quick look at your website, they're probably going to be able to come up with some suggestions right on the spot. Not only that, they'll be able to implement those suggestions and hopefully be able to, uh, to increase those conversions. So I think that's it, Kevin. I think we've hit um, all the things we wanted to talk about, what you should do before choosing a theme, um, taking a look at the Shopify theme store, you know, playing around with different themes, customizing them, seeing what it is you can do uh, in order to make your store look, uh, look really great. Um, this has been Bold School of Commerce. If you have any questions at all, feel free to post them in the comments section. We do this every second Thursday of the month. Uh, the next Bold School of Commerce lesson will be why product photos are key to your marketing strategy. So if you want to find out more about product photos uh, going hand in hand with your marketing strategy, make sure to tune in for that. Uh, and also if you're just kind of kicking around today, if you're watching this webinar, we've got another webinar coming up in half an hour. We've got an entire Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, live stream series where Black Friday's what? It's less than a month away. It's a month away. It, it, oh, it's it's one month away. Oh so <laughs> that is exciting on its own. Um, we're doing an entire series where we're giving you guys the opportunity to ask questions. Uh, I'll include that link in this post. We're doing a live stream in half an hour called Easy Email Marketing that you can run over Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, we'll be talking about campaigns that you can run, uh, whether that's transactional, whether that's products, whether that's automation. We're going to go over it all. Email marketing is a really great way for you to, uh, to increase those sales and drive traffic. And this has been Bold School of Commerce, how to increase uh, the conversions on your Shopify theme. So thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thanks.